The Swanage Railway runs through the Purbeck in the heart of Dorset. Last year, COVID-19 nearly wiped out the railway, but thanks to your generous donations, we survived through the winter. With passenger numbers restricted and income lower than normal, it's never been more important to protect our heritage assets and make the railway more sustainable. We need to raise £65,000 to finish building the carriage sheds to help protect and preserve these historic carriages for future generations to enjoy. In this episode, I'll investigate the reasons why protecting our coaches is so important. I'll sit down with our engineering director, Nathan Al, to discuss the benefits of building a carriage shed and what it could mean for the railway. And finally, I'll also talk with our chairman, Gavin Johns, who will explain how we've raised the money so far. But first, I'll meet Nick Coram, project manager of the carriage shed, to discuss current progress and the challenges ahead. Hi Nick, thanks for joining me. Could you tell me a little bit about the specs for this project? It's a 10 coach shed with six coaches on one track and four coaches on the other. Uh, the total roof area is over a thousand square meters and it's about 132 meters in length. To the north side, we've got open sides for ventilation and to share clearances against the main line. And to the south side, we've got a full side to protect against the prevailing southwesterly weather. And what progress has been made so far? Yes, we've excavated the site and built a retaining wall and we've cast in a set of footings for the legs of the shed. Uh, these go a metre deep into the ground um, and they're now protected and ready for the legs to go on top of them once we've raised the remaining money that we need. Due to a lack of undercover storage, our most historically important carriage is sadly leaving the railway for an extended period. This is due in part to being stored outdoors 365 days of the year. Once our brake tests were complete and signalman Gavin Johns had given us the road, Nathan pulled the Devon Bell car out from Corf sidings, ready to travel up to Norden. We're now ready to take our Pullman observation car to Norden for onward transport to the 1 to 1 Museum in Margate for undercover storage. Unlike any of our other vehicles which are steel sided, this carriage is unique because it is our only completely wooden bodied carriage. Although the carriage offers great views of the railway, with the uncertainty around social distancing this year and the limited capacity it offers, it is unlikely that the carriage will be needed this season. Having reached Norden, we then passed over the level crossing to give access to our road rail interchange. I then shunted the vehicle into position so that it was ready for loading on one of SA Smith's 14-wheel trailers. If the railway had a carriage shed, we would not need to send this valuable asset away. Not only would it save us the transport fees, but it would also reduce future maintenance costs due to the better protection afforded by an undercover facility. I'm now going to head back to Corf with our engineering director, Nathan Al, to discuss some of the issues related to keeping our fleet of coaches running. Oh, it's a bit uh, warmer in here. Yeah. So could you tell me a bit about why the construction of the carriage shed is so important? 
Yeah, so building the carriage shed is ultimately important to help reduce the amount of maintenance we undertake. If we can shelter the vehicle from the elements, then we can actually save time and also the repair costs associated with their upkeep. Now, most of the vehicles on the railway are anywhere between sort of 60 to 90 years old, so you want to look after them the best you can, and having a facility like the carriage shed is vital to do just that. Now, you take the Pullman Observation Coach as an example. We've spent anywhere between £40,000 every four to five years maintaining that vehicle. Now, as you can imagine, most of that expense goes towards the roof, making sure it's watertight, the seals are good, otherwise the structure, the woodwork uh, has the potential to rot or even swell. Similarly, our steel constructor coaches, they also have a similar problem with corrosion. Um, so every time we invest in a brand new coach restoration, it could cost us up to about £100,000. So you really want to look after that vehicle as best you can, get the most value out of it when it's running in service. They're wonderful coaches, the interior, yeah, the woodwork, lovely things, but really enhances the passenger experience. Now, if we can lengthen the sort of service life of those vehicles, we can actually afford to restore more and look after them at the same time. Thanks for your time, Nathan. It was great to talk to you and I appreciate your help this morning. I'm now going to pop into the signal box to talk to our chairman, Gavin Johns. Hi Gavin, nice to see you again. Could you tell me how we've raised the money for the carriage shed so far? Uh, we started out early last year in 2020 with a general fundraising appeal uh, as part of the overall plan to fund the new carriage shed. Uh, unfortunately though, in March 2020, uh, we had to suspend all our activities because of COVID and its impact on the railway. And that meant that we had to draw a halt temporary halt, I hope, to the work which uh, we'd started on site um, and we suspended the fundraising as the railway knuckled down to uh, counter the impact on the railway of Covid. Why are we now asking to raise £65,000? Well, I think there are a couple of things that have happened. Uh, firstly, when we suspended the work, that has meant that we've got to incur additional costs to restart it. And there'll be a little bit of uh, price inflation as well to take into account. But the principal thing is that our original plans to fund the work uh, worked on the basis that we would get some grant support from bodies outside of the railway. Um, but those bodies, quite rightly, have reprioritised where they're going to support and have uh, decided to uh, put their funding and their support into businesses that are suffering from COVID. So the railway's got to find additional funds uh, and that explains why there's been an increase in the target. By building this carriage shed, we can reduce our maintenance costs and improve the standard of our coaches. Not only will this improve visitor experience, but it will help make the railway more sustainable. To ensure we complete this project in the coming winter, we need to raise £65,000 by July. Please consider donating as much as you can. Your contributions will help provide us with the facilities that we need to protect these historic coaches. Thank you.